Hi everyone, welcome to Unacademy Neat English. I'm your biology educator, Ambika Sharma. First of all, I would like to thank you all for making us 100K subscriber family. Thank you so much, people, for your love, for your support. Keep supporting us. Thank you so much. Now, in today's video, what am I going to discuss? I'm going to talk about the deleted syllabus of your biology. And I will tell you that you should read it or not. So please watch this video till the end. If you are actually uh, targeting 360 out of 360 marks in biology, then this video is definitely for you if you are thinking that no I need the marks till 300 or till 250 280 then definitely this video is not for you so let me tell you about the deleted syllabus first we all know that as per the latest NTA syllabus as per that update six chapters are deleted from our syllabus so when you talk about that six chapters from your class 11th it is digestion and absorption am I right I'll be very quick and I will tell you the important things people so do watch this video till the end and share this video with your friends as well so digestion and absorption mineral nutrition right right and one more chapter is deleted I hope you all can tell me the name of that chapter in your charts that is transport in plants so these three chapters are deleted from your class 11 syllabus so when I talk about the class 12 syllabus reproduction in organism is deleted strategy for enhancement in food production is deleted and environmental issue these three chapters are deleted now those who are targeting 360 out of 360 they are not even missing these chapters right let me tell you students why because these chapters are linked with the syllabus that you that uh, syllabus is still the part of your examination let me tell you how first of all let's start with the reproduction in organism chapter bache. while teaching this chapter also in my batches I always mention that how this chapter is linked to the another chapters see students why NTA deleted few topics because they are the repeated topics so if I talk Talk about this particular chapter here in this particular chapter basic things related to sexual and the asexual reproduction is given and the same is discussed in the human reproduction sexual reproduction in flowering plant this chapter is even related with your plant kingdom this chapter is even related with your morphology part let me show you how first of all, so have this see this this picture this these images are basically from reproduction in organism chapter am i right students and you know that about these things we study in the chapter morphology so these two things are related to each other so in uh, if you will ask me right you should not miss this part see students whatever content we deliver you now uh, beat uh, beat us uh, uh, your uh, academic or the strategy or the motivation we always want you people to do something very 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 good in your lives okay I know there are students who are just dependent on our channel and they want to get best score in their need 2024 examination so whatever I suggest in my paid batches I always give that information on this channel as well so if you look at all these example people you know that we also study it in morphology right so maybe you will think that uh, maybe whenever you will see need 2024 paper there will be some questions which you will consider ki, yeah, these questions are from the deleted syllabus but actually they are not right everything is mixed okay so this part is in the deleted portion also and this part is somewhere you are reading right directly it is not given but indirectly it is given right related to the examples right uh, rhizome is there potato tuber is there you can see that offset is there adventitious buds are there so when you read the morphology please consider this part from reproduction in organism and even if you will analyze previous year papers you will see bache, that from uh, reproduction in organism whatever questions are there in the paper they are connected to the other chapters as well so do revise this part directly now move to the next part here see this is in the case of yeast and we know that we study we still study the fungi in our syllabus right so might be they will not directly ask you the example might be they will give you the picture and they can ask you in which particular fungus we will see the budding right so that's how you have to revise it now you know that these are what this is the zoosporangium these are the zoospore again we discuss it in our existing syllabus plant kingdom right conidia we discuss in fungi right these gemules we discuss in sponges right and other than that this hydra so please consider this part from the deleted syllabus when you revise your syllabus completely again here also bache, these terms as I said right these are the terms that I have marked they are again included in your 
existing syllabus so do not miss this part now let's move to the another part see entherozoid word you know that bioflagellated sperm it is we study it in uh, plant kingdom uh, homogametes isogametes and isogametes again we study it in plant kingdom so please pay attention on these examples from reproduction in organism i'm pretty sure that directly question will come from this part okay this is my advice now again Markensia, your cockroach right earthworm and this calotropis all are again the part of your existing portion earthworm is not, not directly there but yes from the animal kingdom question can come from this part and if you have analyzed the previous year paper i'm pretty sure that you all have seen that they ask the questions from earthworm so that is how it is related so do revise it students okay so this is about the placentation as well so if you don't remember the examples at least right if you are not able to remember the examples from morphology at least complete this portion that's my advice for all of you now let's move to the next chapter strategies for enhancement in food production we already know that in new ncrt from this particular chapter tissue culture and that somatic hybridization part is included in your biotechnology okay right it is included in your biotechnology so that is for sure that you cannot leave these two topics but here again i will suggest you to remember the examples of single cell protein because here you discuss the spirulina so it is also related to your biological classification right because it is an example there so you should not miss this part and now when it comes to moet again it is from deleted portion but here you talk about the hormones so uh, right uh, uh, by mixing this question with the hormones question can come from this part as well again i'm repeating this video is for those students who want to score right above 330 marks because they don't want to leave anything they want to revise the complete biology that is why i'm uh, uh, giving you this suggestion if you are happy right and if you are uh, if you started late and if you think that you don't have time right for completing and for studying these topics you can completely miss that focus on your existing syllabus that is my genuine advice for all of you now let's move to the next chapter okay from environmental issue you can leave that chapter directly now let's come to the next chapter that is your digestion and absorption so you can see that these reactions are given and when you see these examples maltose lactose sucrose so they are also associated with the biomolecules with the carbohydrates okay so directly indirectly question can come from this part so you should again not miss it now nucleotides digested by nucleotidases okay so you know that nucleotides we study in biomolecule we study in molecular basis of inheritance again you should complete this uh, uh, this part from the deleted portion okay now let's move to the next chapter mineral nutrition this chapter is quite interesting now here in this chapter you talk about the essential elements you see how are they helping in different different reactions so from this particular portion every year they ask the question this year this part is deleted but yeah still that reactions are the part of your syllabus for an example glycolysis it is the part of your syllabus and when we talk about the glycolysis we know that magnesium ion is required for all the enzymes uh, that are used in the glycolysis right magnesium ion is a cofactor there so this is given here but again glycolysis is the part of syllabus so these two things are interrelated so question can come from this part as well okay okay so now no doubt nitrogen metabolism part is deleted so you for a second you can think that ma'am this part will not come right that molybdenum role or the zinc ion roles but still auxin is still the part of your syllabus and you know that you need zinc there isn't it isn't it so that is how whatever is in correlation with other chapter you people should not miss this uh, miss that part for this particular year because this need 2024 is right after your syllabus deletion right students so uh, after this paper we will get the clarity that are they going to ask the question from deleted portion or in uh, you know relation with the topics deleted so please that's my suggestion Sh you should not miss this part it is not for physics it is not for chemistry i spoke to wazim sir as well so he was like he, uh, from deleted portion we are not expecting anything but when it comes to biology it is making 50% of the syllabus so definitely you should consider all that things so here i will uh, mention one more important thing see this like nitrogen phosphorus potassium so potassium part right it is maintaining 
anion cation balance it is involved in protein synthesis so protein synthesis is still the part of your syllabus so how can you miss the role of potassium there isn't it students now when it comes to the calcium ion okay so middle MLI is still the part of your syllabus how can you miss this calcium part as well right now when it comes to the magnesium respiration is still the part of your syllabus photosynthesis is still the part of your syllabus you cannot miss it the examples of sulfur containing amino acid is still the part of your syllabus you cannot miss the sulfur and same is for the iron as well so you should revise this portion once or twice boron you know that still we talk about the still we talk about the pollen germination so again it is required so do consider this part student do not miss this part now from the same chapter here the example of bacteria it is given right for the denitrification okay pseudomonas thiobacillus so again bacteria is still the part of your syllabus so in correlation question can come so give it a reading students okay give it a reading now when it comes to the plant growth and development vernalization you should not miss why because here the role of gibberellin is there and gibberellin is still the part of our syllabus so that is my advice now when it comes to the transport in plants chapter so in transport in plants chapter which is active transport passive transport right the facilitated one you need that definition right you need that definitions right you should know the basic concepts of that so this is all about this video that is how you should complete your deleted syllabus with the syllabus that you are currently studying right but now i have something very amazing for you and that is our dream crash course batch you all are aware about it but and why are we calling it as dream crash course batch because this is the batch which will help you people to get admission in your dream medical college i know now sufficient time is not there for your neat examination and you are looking for a perfect plan where you can revise your syllabus right where you can complete your syllabus and you can ensure your 650 plus marks now this is a perfect batch for the revision because you can see the amazing team here you can see the people here right but we started this uh, particular channel i think nine or ten months back right and you can see our dedication you can see the level of enthusiasm that we all teachers have and you can see how dedicatedly we are teaching you beat its game of need series beat its uh, beat its platform we are everywhere we are providing you the valuable content now when it comes to this batch you know that this batch is for the 45 days where proper classes are going to be there where proper test will be there where proper revision will be there and when it comes to the biology here right you will get the ncrt reading sessions as well so i think right i think at this particular time at this particular time this is something that you need right where you are getting everything possible right you have uh, there is no need to go beyond this batch no need because the content is planned in such a way that in less time you will get the most important things and if you will revise that continuously it will improve your score so what do you have to do for this particular batch in the description box there is a link click on that link students and this is the code that will already be applied and you will be the part of our batch right if you will use this code you will get additional benefit as well okay so we are starting this batch and we know what are we going to provide you even if you want to ask from the avengers batch student you can see still revision is going on in their batch okay so if we are promising something we are definitely going to fulfill that right so be the part of this batch i want to see maximum students in this batch because here we are going to start the revision from the scratch and you will get everything important for your neat examination always remember bache there is 80 20 rule okay so 80 percent of the 80 percent of the paper will be from that 20 percent of the most important syllabus and here in this batch that 20 percent the most important syllabus will be discussed with the utmost sincerity so be the part of this batch stay tuned to this channel do subscribe this channel take care thank you so much everyone